Hello and welcome back to the farm. Today is a big and exciting day and we're in the tractor right off the bat here because as you can see our oats are ready to be harvested which I'm very very excited about. We are right here in July, oats right here and soybeans will be a little bit further down the road. But first I want to quickly take a look at the used machinery market. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, lovely tractor, I'm sure, but yeah, we, we just can't afford it because one of the things we need to place down today is a silo to be able to store the things that we are harvesting. I don't know why I'm backing up. We need to get on over here, attach the trailer, and we need to harvest all these three fields. I'm so excited for it. So we're going to have a very busy day today. We're going to attach this, but most importantly, we will be needing the combine harvester. So I'm going to turn off the engine right here. I'm going to switch over to this. I'm going to harvest this field first right here because that is the most crucial because that is the field that I will be placing the silo on at least most likely. There's my header over here. Very good. I do want to check some prices for some things. We have the silage, which we have. Um, and then, of course, I want to check out the the letters but of course we also have the oats which we're harvesting now but that won't be in an ideal price range I don't think we will take a quick look but I highly doubt it if we take a look at oats price for luxuations yep July August right at harvesting time it's at its worst this is why we want to keep it in a silo until it is ready to be sold same with silage also January so that is that, and let's take a look at... For some reason I wanted to say sausage, sausage, but yeah, that is also January slash February. So, yeah, we are going straight to harvesting. Um, I'm not sure 100% where I want to put the, put the silo, but I'm thinking over there in that corner. So, we're just going to get straight to it. Hold on, I need to... Do that. Need to fold out the machine first, I think. I thought I had to unfold the harvester, but not this one, apparently. Um, one thing, though. I want to disable straw swaths. This should just cut the straw in pieces and leave it on the ground, which will act as fertilizer. However, we could sell the straw instead. But again, horrible price. So for us, it would be better to use it as fertilizer. So we're just going to get straight to work here. Move that. Just want to make sure that it's actually doing what I think it's doing. Yep. And if we take a look at the map, we should be able to see... Uh, here... This is where we've cut, and this is now where... This is what we've cut, this is what we're cutting. So it is applying one stage of fertilizer, and that is uh, not in the vanilla game. That is a mod, which I have linked down below in the description, if you want to check that out. But yeah, I think it just makes sense. I've talked about it in the previous episode, so... Yeah, that's that. That will benefit us very well. Right. So yeah, I think... I'm going to put the silo over here somewhere. Those are my thoughts, like right here somewhere. Eventually I want to put some sheds, uh, sheds up here. But I'm not sure on that just yet. But yeah, I think this place will be great for a silo. And this field will only take a second. The combine will probably not even get full from it. really good yeah I'm thinking the silo right here it is important as well that I keep going to cover the part where the wheat or the oats end because or I should say the crop because otherwise we will get places like that that haven't been hit with the straw let's hit inside here all of our lovely oats 
There are a few weeds in there that we haven't gotten with the weeder. That was because I couldn't see them. Whoops, wrong buttons. There we go. We will have to check it if the greenhouses require water as well. I don't think they do. Yeah, this field is kind of tricky to do because... <laughs> It's very, very small. Almost done. And the final swath. I do apologize if the intro was a little bit quick. Girl, maybe? I tried doing it a little bit faster. We do have a lot of stuff to do today. But there we go. That is this field sorted. I'll get those bits in just a moment here. But if we go in here, as you can see, it is still fertilized. Which is perfect. If we didn't have the mod on where this acts as a fertilizing stage, then this field wouldn't have any fertilization level at all. All right, 34% spot on. Now we need to take a look at the silo. Um, this one right here. I am not sure where the best place is to put it. Overlaps with another object. So it has to be right up here. I could place it there taking up minimal space but I think I would like to have it facing this way if possible but then it can't be too close to the road does it count that as an overlapsing object I think it does if I use the leveling tool it gets rid of it but I don't know If maybe painting the ground. Ah, painting it works just as well. Okay, good. <laughs> so now I should be able to place this here maybe? Yes, perfect. Right, I can place it right... I could place it... Oh, I could even place it out here. Right by the path. It would barely take any field space. Oh, that's perfect. That's... That is the most ideal thing for us. I think I might place it right here, you know, because this road right here, it's just not good to use anyway. So this way, it looks nice. It's out of the way. We can maybe add some bushes over here or something. And it works with the road. And it doesn't do stuff to the field. Let's place it $30,000 let me just make sure that it is in the center-ish. Yeah, looks about right. Gonna make sure we get it just right here. <laughs> yep, right there. Let's place it. Boom. We have a silo now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this actually doesn't even look too bad now. This is just water and then, well, I passed down. Maybe we can put a water thing here eventually where we can get water. Maybe if we can get something good. But yeah, now the field is uninterrupted and we can load and unload rain right here. I'm very happy with this. Sweet. This is perfect. And just to make sure it works... We will drive over there, extend the pipe, which I believe this should work, and we should be able to just unload right here. Yep. And it should go right into our storage, maybe? Yep, storage right there. Sweet. This is so good. Now I have just spotted this contract with plowing. Um, we could get like $2,000 off of this. I don't know if it will be worth it. We could do this one, but that is field 69, though that might be more worth it. So I think I'm gonna take this. Actually, no, I don't think it will be more worth it, to be honest. I'm gonna take this one, borrow items. We'll see how that goes. I'll set a worker to do this, um, to do this harvest on this field, right. Off you go. Perfect. Let us then take a look at the... Okay. 
Did I not? Did the field literally disappear from the contract? Like normally it should be up here if you're doing it. I think it just disappeared. Yep. I think it just disappeared. <laughs> because the items are not at the shop. Okay. Well, in that case, um, yeah, we, uh, we won't be doing that contract. <laughs> All right, just get out of the crops and replace the worker. All right, we will be doing these fields by hand. I want to do that anyways. So I'll get this done and I'll see you when these fields are harvested. See you in a minute. Alright, that is the first field. I don't know how full the combine is, but we will see in just a moment. I just figured it's easier just to load up the trailer and also a little bit more fancy. So we can tip the trailer in our brand new silo. Look at that. That looks good. That looks really good. Get it spread evenly. Again, don't know how much we have in here. We don't have too much. Let's put it that way. Yep. 3,411 liters. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. But definitely something. One thing that we will be doing today as well is connecting these two fields using a plow. Because, yeah, that's just... I think it's something that just needs to happen. It just makes this whole thing a whole lot easier. And maybe... I was thinking maybe we could extend the field over there towards the road, but I don't think I'm gonna do that anyway. But yeah, we'll be doing that today as well. And I will be taking a look at when we can put oilseed radish in, because if we do that, and then... Because if we put oilseed radish in the field again, and then cultivate them in the field, that means we will get two stages of fertilization for our fields, which is really going to boost our yield, especially if we, the next seeds that we put in, not the oilseed radish, but the actual crop that we want to harvest, especially if we roll it and basically do whatever we can to improve the yield, it's gonna be good. Also, I'm just making a head over here because the neighbor is way too close. It is impossible to work here. So I need to add this little bit of header, header room so we can actually turn around properly. Yep, much easier to turn around now. If it wasn't for the tree. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's finish up this field. Alright, the final strip here. I wonder if I can get it all... Nope, I can't get it all in one go. Unfortunately, that would have been really, really satisfying. But, there we go. The fields have been harvested. So this field yielded... I'm going to guess... About... 2900 liters after this strip right here. That's my guess. Never mind. 
<laughs> it was a lot less. But definitely something. And that's the harvest in July. Well, completed. Now the soybeans are a little bit days away. Well, days. Is that even a saying? I don't even think that's a saying. It's a few months away, so no rush with that. But I definitely want to get these fields connected before we do anything else. Because whatever I do in them, I want to do it where they're connected. It's just going to make the job a whole lot easier. And I guess we can just put the header in here. Can it fit? I think it can fit. Yep. Why haven't I just done that before? 6,121 liters, so we will probably in total have like 8,000 or 9,000 liters of oats. Not bad at all. We'll check the total amount in our storage in just a minute. Boom. Into the storage it goes. So let us take a look at how much we now have. 7,831 liters. Not bad. So we will be able to sell that at a fairly decent price in January. Like, if we take a look at the price now... That's not half bad for... Okay. It is for a thousand liters, so it would be this times eight-ish. But when we do it in the proper month, that is going to be hopefully a lot better when it comes to the price. But yeah, that was that job done. Now I need to look into leasing a plow. So I can connect up these fields. So over to the dealer shop. De dealer shop? Dealership. We go. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Here we are. Beautiful. Now, the plow that we need... Actually, I'm going to go up here because it's going to spawn right here. Yep. So, the plow that we need does not have to be big at all. It can literally be the smallest thing. But... That said... If the leasing price isn't too different... 800... Yeah, 700... This is almost twice, actually more than twice the, the working width. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. We will not be using it for long. Attach it. Turn on those beacons of work. And head back to the farm and collect those two fields. All right, here we are. This does mean that we will no longer be able to take this shortcut into the farm, but that is fine. What I need to do is I need to press Y to allow create field, which means we should be able, and hopefully I don't mess this up. I want to go in a fairly straight line, but if a mistake happens, it happens. It's not a big deal. So if I lower it, and go across here and go back because I want that line to be perfect not too far out not too far out perfect all right, and then over here, that's going to be a little bit tricky, I feel. This one will just have to be kind of going up diagonally, <laughs> which is going to be a bit interesting. I guess it's fine. I can turn these off now. Yeah, we can start like right here and then just drive up. And hit it right there. Yeah, that works. But just because I want it to be very neat, I'm gonna try 
<laughs> and get this final bit right here that is under the wheels. That's difficult. There we go. I did it. Now I just need to completely plow this path away, which I think will probably be easiest if I go down like this. Lower. Yeah. That'll be the easiest thing to do. Just go up and down a few times. Make sure I don't go over. Also need to make sure I get that piece with. Perfect. This is going to be so good. It's going to make it so much easier to work in these fields. With these connected now. And... I want to go too far because then... I can actually... Well, I can't disable the feature now because we're still overriding this path here. I need to disable the feature where it creates new fields right after we've done this. Just so I don't accidentally create a field out in the middle of the yard. Final pass, and this will then be cultivated or seeded. Actually, it will just be seeded um, when we put in the oil seed radish. And that was that. Pretty good. I can disable that now. And how will that look on the map? Let's take a look. Yep. Perfect. Oh, and field 45 needs lime, apparently. I do feel like field 45 didn't get any lime last time we did any of this. Last, or last time we spread lime, so I guess that makes sense. Return. That was definitely worth it. Right, well, I guess... Uh, hold on, let me check the time for... Uh, Oilsy Reddish. Yep, we can still plant it. So we could, in theory, cultivate it up. Or cultivate this part and seed it in but I don't think we're gonna do that just yet where is I don't actually own a spreader I just realized I actually don't own a, a lime spreader and I unfortunately do not have the money to buy one outright this is the one we used last time it used the lime very quickly um, this I assume will use it just as fast uh, so there's 1,400 to lease, 700, we'll just have to go with this one again. And I'll just have to make sure that I manage how much lime we use. How much lime do we have? I think we'll have enough. If not, I'm just going to be annoyed. <laughs> Alright, let's head on over to the shop and fetch it. And we'll spread some lime on that field. Well, I guess I can drive over here one last time, huh? Just like that. Perfect. Here it is. Back it up. Attach. I could buy one bag of fertilizer. Or not fertilizer, lime. But it's expensive and we might not need it. So... It's not too expensive, actually. I'll buy one extra bag. I'll buy one extra bag. And I forgot, this thing can't even... Yeah, we definitely had enough back home. <laughs> oh well. How wide do you reckon these fields are? Because I'm not sure. 21 meters? Nah, that would be too narrow. 30. Hmm. Not quite. Actually, bigger. 36. It couldn't fit more perfect than that. 
I am missing a little bit in the corner out there. I'll get it eventually. Hmm. Yeah, this thing uses slime extremely fast. It is incredible. I don't like it. But I guess it does make sense. Since it is covering such a large area. Well, I guess I can get rid of all these small bags now. Not quite. Close enough, though. So now I can just follow these tracks. Turn it on, and keep going. And we do need to cover this bit which we just plowed. And good. Nice. Now I just need to cover this bit. With the lowest setting possible. Well, I guess I definitely didn't buy too much. Because I'll be needing it all. Alright, we had 388 liters in that. That might be enough to finish this field off. Come on. Yeah, that's gonna last, I think. Hopefully. Oh boy, that's gonna be close. Yeah, yep, just the corner. It just missed the corner. Uh, let's see. Uh, well... I need to get that other bag anyway, don't I? So... We might as well, I suppose. That's one way of being able to transport it anyway. I'll get it. Somehow that didn't empty the bag. I thought the bag had a thousand liters, but I guess it might be two thousand. Huh. When we are able to buy our own lime spreader, I definitely don't want to buy this one. Not because it's bad, the hopper is just too small for what we need. So, yeah, I would want something a little bit bigger. That would also mean, I think, that the working width wouldn't be so big. That's alright. And done. Alright, I'll unload it over here, we'll return it, and that is the lime spreading done as well. Alright, unload, don't have space to unload. Unload, there we go, and we can return it, yet again. There we go, okay, sweet. Um, I'm thinking we still have quite a bit of daylight left, and I don't think we have... I don't know how far in the episode we are, but I'm thinking of cultivating that big field there. I'm just thinking, with our cultivator. Where are the cultivators? This is the one that we have, and this is one that we could get for a little bit extra. Obviously there's this, but I don't even think our tractor can handle that horsepower. Uh, what is our tractor's horsepower? 125. I do wonder if we would be able to handle this right here. If we were to sell this cultivator, uh, we would need to power. We would need to, even if we repair it and whatnot, maybe we'll get 12. We might get 12 back for it. Then we would need to pay another 7,000, which is. 7,000 for an extra meter working width. Not really worth it, in my opinion, anyway. So yeah, I think we will have one final time lapse of cultivating this, because then we can focus on seeding this in the next episode and harvesting the soybeans. I think that will be a good way of doing things. And this actually shouldn't take that long now that we have combined the fields. We're gonna get off. We will experience this for the first time actually, how it is when they're combined. Not bad at all actually. I like it. The only issue is still down here. 
where I need to make some weird turns in order to not hit the neighboring fence. Okay, this time wasn't too bad. But there are a lot of trees in the way. <laughs> there we go. Into position. Place it down. And off we go. Alright, I'll see you at the end of this. Alright, almost done. I think one, two more passes after this one and this field will have been cultivated. Then in the next episode we can seed it with oil seed radish and we probably won't have anything else. We might skip a month or two in the next episode to get to the point where we can harvest the other field. But we will have to see if there are no other interesting jobs for us. But yeah. This has been good. I really enjoy having these two fields uh, being connected. Makes everything so much easier and simpler. Makes the work a lot quicker too. No. Makes the work a lot quicker too. At least when I don't mess up, that is. That's better. Nope, apparently not. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so when I go into first person, I miss. But the entirety of the other time, I didn't miss a single one. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Final pass. I will get that tiny piece that I missed in just a moment. In fact, I will get it before I continue any further. Just so I don't have to... In fact, I see this side over here too. I don't want to have to come back. When I reach the end of the field, I want to be able to put this thing away. Right. Then this bit. Cool. And three, two, one, a half, and done. Sweet! Fields have been harvested and cultivated, and they still have fertilizer stage one, so we will have a full fertilization stage, or I should say two stages, once we have cultivated the oil seed radish into the ground. And I guess I'll just put this here because we will need it. Probably in the next episode. Just like that. Turn off the tractor. And that is the job well done. I just really quickly want to check out these. They do have water indeed. Plenty of water in fact. And each greenhouse has two pallets of lettuce. Nice. Alright, we do also need to cultivate this field. We'll do that in the next episode. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you do, consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.